floor. F Let's see. Oh. Yeah, about that. Uh. Thanks. Um, because I think I want to keep to about the same speed. Yeah, generally with the cherry bombs, I prefer to... I use them in dire situations on lower floors, but I try to save a majority of them for the last 20. So like all, all of the ice floors, unless there's a large uh, iron vein, not iron vein, copper vein, uh, I'll, I just manually break everything. So the run is going to be very slow later. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think keeping to about 7, well, for floor 20, keeping to about uh, anywhere from 6 to like 7.5 minutes will be best. 8 minutes and it's, well, mm, yeah, 8 minutes, that's starting to be close to reset. I guess depends on how much time you put into getting copper. Because yeah, lots of copper early will take time, but can save a lot of time later. So, especially since uh, you have to be getting level 2 for this level 2 mining. Oh, there we go. Monsters. Okay, good stack. Fucking hell game. Whoops, I nearly threw that out. I appreciate the quick ladder, but two of them is overkill. Okay. Though there was... Um... So the, the thing with parsnips is... For my thought process, they don't give that much energy. If I remember correctly, don't they give pretty close to the same as uh, horseradish? And horseradish is, in my opinion, complete shit <laughs> and on like almost never useful. Okay, I do have that, but. I need to check those. Fuck. You could probably do parsnips and be just fine. But I. Yeah. I, I guess the one problem you have with the parsnips is uh, you have to still worry about stuff uh, overgrowing on the farm and destroying your parsnips. So I, I kind of think having to worry about the condition of the farm maybe outweighs the benefits. Mm. 
Yeah, it is guaranteed energy over there. Um, but at the same point, you, there's kind of the idea of guaranteed energy versus the time investment you have to put in farming them. Uh, oh, whatever. Yeah, it, it, it would be like a safety strat. Or something to do if you are not putting in a lot of runs. So something just to do uh, if you're first trying out the speed run. For me personally, it... Most of the time, if a situation comes down to that amount of food, I probably messed up with some energy uses usage somewhere else. <clears throat> kind of just like with the idea, my food and energy, or sorry, health and energy are pretty low, but... For me, if I just manage it correctly, it should be no issue. And you just have to use food sparingly, so extra food might make you play riskier. Um, forage or just cave drops or mine drops. Because you can get cave carrots and some small things. Oh yeah, definitely. For myself personally, uh, it usually ends up being about, depending on which floor it is, usually f anywhere 5 to 15 floors I'll pass out. Really? <laughs> and I, I don't want to waste food on my health, so... I'd rather not eat. <sighs> okay, there we go. I'm gonna break that one. just because of extra energy, uh, extra experience. Oh yeah, yeah, underscore, late game, if you can make it 10 floors, yeah, that that's great. If you can make it 15 late game, you are, you're moving really fast. And I'm pretty sure on day 13, you are guaranteed a lucky day. Because that's, I believe that's the uh, spring festival. And every single time I've checked, it's been a good day. So, I think after, after this run, if... 
if it's a lucky day, then I'm just never going to check on day 13. And I'll just always go. <clears throat> Even though checking only takes like two to three seconds. All right, let's get a club. Okay. I can easily just get the ladder, but I need copper and I need experience. If I can hit, if I can hit level two mining before the ice floors, that is great. I want to kill this guy. Oh. Okay. And level 2 before I hit the ice floors because there is one huge floor that like always takes forever. Or there's two floors that are pretty bad. So if I can have a, a staircase I can just craft that would save a lot of time. And I will walk all the way over here even if I find the ladder. Ooh. I do want this. I can finally start using this strat more often. It always feels so good when it works out. Ah, oh, yes. Two weapon drops. Got the one I wanted. Fuck. Okay, that strat has to wait. <laughs> Stupid dagger. But for a sword. So uh, I got my one needed uh, weapon drop. Now I just need the ladder. Okay. So essentially at this point, monster floors are almost a time save now. It's definitely an energy save. Something really funny that's happened kind of often is I've been having the diggers drop diamonds uh, quite a few times. It's, it's kind of strange just how often it's happening. Okay.
Hmm. To pass out or not to. It's probably going to be better to pass out. Alright. The stone drop is okay. Shit. Stone drop is okay, but... Would have liked to have seen some more food. Well, I lost three minutes on that section. Thing that kind of sucks is that my inventory is completely full. Which means, like, uh, food that slimes drop. Ooh, nice. Uh, I would have to actively make space in my inventory to pick it up. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping I find a nice place to use the cherry bombs just to open up my inventory. behind oh yeah and I don't have inventory room to pick up a torch could be a bad thing Oh, there we go. I can blow that up. Bad spot. Oh, it, it broke everything. Oh, I want that. I hope it can touch that. Yep. Damn it. I did so well avoiding it. <laughs> That's a nice copper spot. Put it there. And even if I break even with the cherry bomb in terms of copper cost, it's still a benefit considering I need to hit level 2 mining anyway. And so we'll actually make another. This is a very disgusting floor. Hmm. Oh, natural spawn. Should have had a torch. Torch would have alleviated that problem. But I will come up and collect that.
which I might just use uh, once I hit uh, 40. I might just use it right away. Okay, it spawned. Where was it? I, there we go. Um, one annoying part about uh, finishing the 50 mines is that now I can't do that many runs each day since every completed run of this takes or every completed run will take like practically a whole hour so for mornings like today that's only like three completed runs wait what why did I have full energy I'm stupid I missed the lucky day on day 13. Damn. And I don't want that. Because I'm so used to when I pass out that my energy is half. But I think maybe my energy was full that day. So, or maybe it wasn't, but yeah, it's hopefully I didn't have energy. Alright, so horseradish, don't care <laughs> because the berries give more and I simply have more berries. Yeah. I just, I didn't think I leveled up that night. Or maybe I did, but... As far as what I was conscious of, I didn't level up. So I was like, oh, I have to sleep again. Because I'm kind of just going on autopilot just after that 50 run. Come on. Good, natural spawn. Fuck. Hopefully that doesn't affect my luck too bad. Something else I need to kind of keep in mind during this run is just how much copper I have. Because my mind is a little bit kind of set on about like 50 copper for the 50 mines. But 
but I, that obviously needs to change. Alright, so this floor is completely shitty right now. And to some extent, I probably should have just passed out. If I would be v really smart about it. But since I have a star drop day, I kind of want to make it 10 floors. That's a nice drop. Good. Alright, so it's a good thing I kept going. You're starting to feel exhausted. Yes. Okay, so that works out. Waste a little bit of energy on the copper. I'll break this iron just for experience. And we'll and those are, that's a shoe upgrade. And I'll grab that when I come back in. Oh, look at that super quick 2645 for that 50 run. Oh, th oh th there's my level 2. Perfect timing. Oh, and perfect timing of that. Alright, so I, I feel... It feels pretty nice right now that I hit that er little bit of an earlier level 2. Um, is there anything I, I would like to grab those, but one, a single leak is better than those two. Uh, there's three, so technically three, four, so picking up the parsnips actually would have been a little bit better. Oh well. Don't care about parsnips. By boot. Ghost. I guess the nice thing now is just is just that any copper spawns are actually worth the time to break because it's the same as a normal rock really it hit me Oh, gold. <laughs> A little surprised it didn't hit me on that. Alright, no slow. Okay, good. Um, 
No natural spawn. Nice. Grab that. Uh, this is one of those floors that I might just make a ladder on. Yep. Or s staircase. Because that floor, in most cases, is just complete shit. And can waste a ton of time. But yeah, so as far as uh, making ladders is concerned, generally I just... There's a few certain floors that I will almost always make a make a ladder on, just because of lots of shit experiences on them. Like this floor, generally I find the ladder in the center, which I usually break them first. But I don't seem to be that lucky. Hmm. <laughs> well. I don't really want to eat food that since I'm on uh, a floor 55 where there's a elevator but it's pretty much like sunk cost fallacy I've already spent this much energy I should just keep going And, and keep in mind, this is a star drop day. So, th there's essentially no way to have better luck. Really, he's clipped into that. It spawned! Yeah, so that was just a garbage floor. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just going to go with this run all the way through because I don't have enough time to do a second one. So may as well just do one full just to get ready to get back into it. I kind of want to just make a ladder on this one. Because I, I don't have food to realistically uh, search for too long. This is the floor that I always like making a ladder on. 
Because it's so big. Oh. And the ladder usually doesn't spawn. But we can have a nice, peaceful walk through this whole floor and enjoy the music. Ooh. Though I kind of like the uh, forest sword a little bit better because of swinging speed. And I'm going to go to the center to check for food. Weapon drops. Honestly, there isn't anything I really want too bad. Oh, that works. Alright. But, Iron Edge is a weapon that, honestly, I don't get very often. Lead Rod is, I think, much more common of a drop. Combat level two. And I'm going to be get so question. Should I uh take the cat as a pet or just not take the cat? Kind of since this run likely isn't going to uh, make it so losing a few second few extra seconds uh, taking the cat is not really going to kill it well you you get an extra text box but there, I'm also thinking of farm interaction where you can the cat sometimes gets in your way when you're on the farm because uh, what on maybe an all bundles run or or it might have been mines I took the cat and um, yeah, it it blocked the doorway to the house a few times, or blocked my bed a few times. So kind of at that point, I was like, okay, no cat. <laughs> Love you, but you are not speedrun, <laughs> not speedrun viable. To some extent, I probably should pick up that iron for that small, small chance um, I somehow ooh nice that I get uh, uh, that I get the ability to make those bombs oh a diamond too bad it doesn't matter I am all alone on this floor. <sighs> Alright, so... I probably still will go... Nope. I was going to go check those crates on the far right. But the only use would be for a potential lead rod, stone, or co lead rod, stone, copper, food. But I don't necessarily need 
any of that. Well, you can always use all of it, but I'm not like in dire need. So, kind of a surprising thing, considering all of my other runs. Why have I not- oh, nice. Why have I not had a monster floor yet? Like, the, the one time that I would actually be okay having a monster floor and I don't have one. Like, I, I, I don't quite understand the game's logic. F 50 floor runs give tons of monster floors at horrible times. Oh, he's gone 68 floors? Nah. Don't don't give him a monster floor because he has weapon upgrades. Well, I guess I'll take a second one. I kind of do want the coal down there, but if the ladder spawns up here. That's fine. Nice little crit. Okay. Really, why am I getting so much food now? Oh well. <laughs> Every single one of these splits is going like more and more over time. <laughs> little bit funny. Like, at this point, I would say I would almost definitely have reset by now. Solely because of... To seven minutes, that's... Well... I guess if I kept to the same time or a little bit faster for the later floors uh, this seven minutes is almost impossible to recover from come on damn and I'm pretty sure my late floors that this time is being compared against the late floors were actually quite good. So. Darn. Okay, we're gonna just cheat a little bit. We'll use a cherry bomb. Right there. Run! Fuck. One, two, three. Okay, nice. <laughs> Woohoo! Three minutes over. That is <laughs> my current time behind is half of a fifty floors run. Sadly. 
Oh, cat time. Actually, I'm going to probably make it to summer, which is, I'd say, pretty bad. Fine, we'll take the cat. Better bring good luck. Um, what? Mm. Uh, I would have liked to have kept that, but... Leak is better in all forms. Especially since I, I, I can find more of them just walking. And that weapon should be a slingshot. Fuck off. Snipe me from across the map. Though I could have prevented that, but... Oh, nice. Nice. I kind of want to break this one. Nope. Yeah, so like since I have the since I have just a weapon upgrade, taking the time to kill the skeletons is I'd say usually worth it. <laughs> One, you have a chance at the ladder. And then two, you can just prevent them from hurting you. <laughs> So it's kind of safe strat, kind of just, it's nice to save energy. Ah, this is amazing. And even though I am tempted to make a ladder on this one, I need ladders more on other floors. Ow. Oh. Uh, damage buff. I probably should get a little bit more used to attacking enemies like going down why did I make contact with this one but I usually just hate attacking downwards ooh we have a pseudo monster floor Nice.
Good. Yay, new boots. Oh, we saved a little bit of time. Huzzah. Nice. Oh, and now breaking these double rocks is <laughs> like the best thing you can do. Which is a little bit fun. You start off hating double rocks, but now double rocks are the best thing. Alright, so my food is bad. Nice. I guess I'll break this. Ladder, please. I guess I, oh, I'll kill you first. Um, yeah, essentially Stardew Valley, especially mines, is just like almost 100% RNG. Though, today I got, s I got quite lucky with the run. And so this run is essentially me getting ready just to switch runs to a different category. So that's kind of why this run, even though it's really far behind... Oh no, this, this run is, uh, is very, very far behind. But it, I'd say this attempt today isn't very serious. Nice. Still serious, but... I'm not... Oh, cool. It's not like... Oh, great. It's not um, like as serious as maybe some other runs are. And we'll pass out. But gold split. I did not expect to have one of those on this. Alright, we just have 30 more floors. Oh, combat upgrade. Nice. I think I'm soon going to just make all of my cherry bombs just to save on inventory management. Um, yeah. And just to make room for that. So, 33 cherry bombs, 
currently two free staircases. And then after using those cherry bombs, that will probably be another... Mm, maybe another two or three staircases. Ooh, monster floor. Which, honestly, isn't that bad. Because I have one of the... I have just the last weapon upgrade for the run. Only thing is just enemies running around. And just the uh, worry of taking damage. Okay. Nice. Come on, move down. Nice. I'm going to hit him so that if he was going to jump it, it would reset. Okay, this is a bad, bad monster floor. <laughs> that I do not... <laughs> That, that's not I don't even have to think us I don't even have to think about using a ladder on that oh the flower dance has begun little bit unfortunate but I'll take the I wanted to wait f so the cherry bomb would explode so I could get the stone darn we'll blow that up So, so far, this run actually hasn't been too bad in terms of overall luck. Uh, like, sure, it's behind, but... It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, we'll blow that up. Nice. Collect all of that. I'm just going to break these first two, and then ladder. Because this is another disgusting floor. Not grabbing that yet. That is... Uh, kind of an energy refill. But I don't need that right now. I'll grab that if I need it. Which is almost definitely a yes, but... There is a small chance I won't need it. Oh, natural spawn. Okay. So, wasted cherry bomb. Little bit too. 
tempted to make a ladder on this one. If these don't have it. Okay. Whoops. Alright, so we do not currently have any free ladders. Which... I worry a little bit. <laughs> Oh. Just pick up all of that. Okay, I halfway expected t to take a hit of damage on that. bat. Nice little crit. Mm. Go right there. This is probably going to be another ladder I have to make. Oh, so something a little bit funny. That was the first uh, red quartz I've seen. Meaning on a boiler room run. That would have just been <laughs> very sad. And so w we are actually going to go back to floor 100. So we can eat that. <laughs> Ooh, gold split. Hmm. Oh, free ladder. Which is nice. I don't have... Ooh, close. I don't have the stone to make another. Fucking hell. That's bad luck. Nope. 104.05. I do not know how good that is. That that is a personal best after the uh, rule change. I do not know how that is compared to. I think it's Habu's run or Habo. 
Come on, speedrun.com, load up. Uh, let's see, 120 glitchless. Yeah, the 10405 is about two minutes, well, what, about a minute and a half slower.